back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little bit different. One year ago I wrote a blog post that I called 9 things that survived 3 moves between countries and continents. If you haven't read it, it's okay, I will link it down below. If you read it, you probably know what is the idea. So in a nutshell, 4 years ago I moved from Ukraine to Thailand for what I thought would be one year at least, with a very limited amount of clothes with me. I believe it was something around 20 items that took about one third of my suitcase. I can only call that capsule two of each. I had two dresses, two skirts, two pair of shorts, two tops. One year later I was moving to Italy to start my volunteering program. This time I had much more experience of living out of a suitcase, but at the same time I needed to bring outfits for 9 months and different occasion for winter, for summer, also for the office, going to the beach, going hiking, hanging out, going out, etc. Fast forward one year and a half and I came back to Sicily again, this time for much longer. This time I had a task of packing for at least 3 years. And as I was unpacking my suitcase in my tiny dorm room, I noticed one very interesting thing. There were some items that went with me to Thailand and the first time to Sicily and the second time. So I counted 9 items that were with me during all of my moves. I cannot call these items the core of my wardrobe, not even close, but those are the things that prove to be very trustworthy. I strongly believe that nothing tests the quality of your clothes as much as moving with them. When you live at home, you have your own washer and dryer, and also you don't wear your clothes this much. But when you're living out of a suitcase, you tend to wear your clothes 3, 4, 5 times more than normally. I wrote this blog post one year ago and I thought that it would be interesting to go back to those items and see how they are doing now. I divided those 9 items in 4 categories. First one would be the items that are still going strong. The second one are the items that I still use but they definitely need some kind of an upgrade in the future. Third category are the items I've already updated or I, can, I just need to part with them, I cannot use them anymore. And the fourth category are the things that I said goodbye to. So in the first category I have four items. First one will be my trusty parka jacket from H&M. I love it and I still wear it a lot because it's a perfect summer piece. I can wear it with a skirt, I can wear it with shorts, I can wear it with jeans. I actually wore it yesterday when we went on a hiking trip in one of the natural reserves here in Sicily. Second item is this Aztec print scarf that I bought in Thailand and I still use it a lot, I still love it, but I'm kind of getting a little bit uh, tired of this just because it's such a big statement. Third one, it's my tote with ship print. I bought it in Vilnius in Lithuania uh, something around five years ago and it's still going very very strong. I use it to carry water, I use it to carry my groceries, I use it sometimes to put my laptop on the plane and stuff like that. And the last one in this category is this leather bag. I bought it in a thrift store in Kiev uh, at least five years ago. It's not the fanciest bag, but it's perfect for casual outfits. It survived many things. Second category will be the things that I still use, but they need an upgrade. First will be this skirt. If you read my blog post, I called it my date skirt, as I used to refer to it in Thailand. I will be very sad when I will not be able to wear it again. But I'm looking into upgrading it just because it's such a nice statement piece. It immediately makes me feel very put together. Just maybe because I have all these nice memories uh, connected to it. Because I was wearing it to any, any nice occasion that I had in Thailand. And the second and last in this category will be this pair of glasses. I'm looking to buy new ones just because I would prefer to have one pair of glasses but a nice one and these ones have seen their best times. So I'm looking to upgrading them. And I think that my next pair will be either the same one but in black or Ray-Ban Jackie As you can tell, I like the oversized look. In the third category, we also have two items. First one will be the Ray Pashmina, again from the blog post. It just became so old, it lost all of its shape. I think it would be a bit disrespectful to myself to wear it anymore. So I will say thank you and goodbye. And the second and last in this category will be my trusty backpack. I'm actually very sad about this because I bought this backpack from ASUS again at least five years ago. It had seen so many adventures with me and it used to be my best friend just because it's so easy to put it on your back and hop on a bicycle. But yeah, it has seen better times, it lost some of its color 
and I lost a few of the studs from it and also I can definitely see some rips in some places. As I said in the blog post, I was thinking about updating it with the can, -can and I did it. So here is my new friend. Yesterday we went hiking together and it went very smooth. I like that I can put a whole bottle of water and many many things that I need for hiking and for the beach inside. So this is my new friend and my old friend will have to retire unfortunately. In the fourth category I only have one item and it's the grey tight woven tee from Topshop. I had to donate it sometime last year when I was moving from the dorm to this apartment just because it made no sense to keep it with me. I noticed that I was not wearing it as much as I used to and then I tend to choose lighter t-shirts over it. So I had to say goodbye to it and it's okay. So what I'm trying to say with this video, you might know that I love sustainability and reusing things as much as possible. I love fashion and I love good things. I'm definitely not living out of a suitcase right now and I have much more clothes than 20 items that were with me in Thailand. But still I love to appreciate the things that I have especially when they're things of nicer quality and the things that are serving me for a long period of time. So I thought it would be a fun video to shoot and I hope that you liked it. The life that I'm living for the past four years taught me that you cannot get too attached to material things, especially to clothes. Clothes don't last. So I tried to appreciate what I have and I tried to really acknowledge the things that really served me well for many years. But also I'm happy to say goodbye to older things. I know that they served me well, I know that we had great times together. Now it's their time to rest and my time to move on to something new and more exciting. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you around. Bye!